and welcome to my very first speed paint. My, uh, <laughs> my very first video in general as well. This is also the first time I've done a multitude of things, including an entire 13 minute video on an iPad, using a professional microphone to record an amateur audio, using video and audio programs in general, and uh, just starting my own field of YouTube. So please take it easy on me. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm sure I will get there eventually. Okay, so we're gonna start out with some Splatoon themed music, and then I will get to answering a couple questions and giving an in-depth explanation behind this beat paint. Cool? All right, let's get into it. Also, headphone warning, this first song is epic, but also pretty loud, so just letting you know. So, okay, CJ, I hear you asking, why on earth would you start your very own YouTube channel with something SMG4 related? For those of you wondering who SMG4 even is, first off, what are you doing with your life? Seriously? Second, stop this video and go watch some of their content and then subscribe immediately after that because I am almost 100% sure you're gonna love it. If the content's not your style, that's fine, but please just try before making a final decision.
characters in SMG4's videos is a girl named Maggie, who is the character in this speed paint. Maggie is my very favorite character, and the reason behind me making my first ever video one of SMG4 related content. I started watching SMG4 a little bit when I was around 9 to uh, 11 years old, I think? My YouTube recommendations list had the Sonic the Dirthog series for me, and I started watching it. This was one of the funniest things I had seen in a while, and was actually a huge blessing for me because I was really in a sad time when I first found this video. Uh, I'm not gonna go into detail on it, but I really, really needed the giggles. Um, those good belly laughs were like band-aids on a broken heart, and re-watching those same videos now still fills me with the same joy and nostalgia. But unfortunately, I really wasn't into Mario stuff at the time, which is the majority of what SMG4 makes. This is fine now, since I'm a huge Mario fangirl currently, but back then, I was the Sonic-only kind of chick. Two years later, I started my freshman year of high school, and was actually improving pretty quickly in both my studies and my friendship groups in comparison to my elementary and my middle school days. But I was still nervous and on edge and was really in need of a good laugh. Halfway through the school year, I was recommended to a video called If Mario Was In Splatoon. I hadn't played a Mario game in a long time and had heard of Splatoon from some of my best buddies, but I never really checked it out to see if I was a fan or not. I clicked on the video and this actually changed a lot of things for me. From that one view, I became an instant fan for all SMG4 content. I watched almost every single one of his videos, finding favorite episodes and favorite characters that I quickly became attached to. But, as you can easily guess, the one I loved the most was Maggie. She was everything that I wanted to be. Brave, athletic, pretty, quick-witted, and loyal. She was the perfect summarization of the kind of person I wanted to grow up and become. Over time, I've loved and related to her more and more, and when the anime arc came out, my emotions, uh... <laughs> They were touched in places that they hadn't been in a while. Not to spoil anything too badly, because I want you to watch the arc for yourself, but to put things this way, Maggie pushes herself way too hard. So hard that it leads to her becoming emotionally unstable from exhaustion and stress, that she acts out in aggression and anger when trying to hide what's underneath. What is underneath? Um, disappointment, sadness, and self-hatred. Eventually, Maggie does open up about her feeling of being a failure and a letdown. It is probably one of the most emotional and heart-wrenching scenes in all of SMG4. Just seeing a character I admire so much being at their lowest and opening up about the same kinds of feelings that I had seen and felt so many times in the past. Uh, um, let's just say... I kind of broke down with her. I clutched my phone close to my chest, I curled up into a little ball on my bed, there were cold tear streaks all over my face. I must have hiccuped the words, I'm sorry, a thousand times. Jeez. <laughs> like, my throat hurts just talking about it now and my eyes are a little watery. I, I know it's kind of stupid, but um, I'll get more into that in a second. I know it may come off as pretty stupid to cry over a fictional character like this, but you know what? I actually don't regret doing it. I don't even regret talking about it now. The SMG4 brothers, Luke and Kevin, they did a fantastic job with developing this character. They created a person who has problems and internal struggles that so many people can relate to, and it is one of the bravest things I have seen any content creator do. Because of their encouragement and the character they created, I was inspired to push myself mentally, physically, artistically, and to work hard to accomplish my dreams, and to work even harder to help others from ever feeling the same pain and regret that I knew so well. Um, the character Maggie and the SMG 4s power of laughter has helped me also be a little more brave and confident. Like, it has taken me a stupid amount of time to come up with the courage to even make this video in the first place. I have been so shy about it. I must have created my actual channel about a year ago, but still been so scared to make something because I didn't know what I was doing. I was nervous. I started comparing myself to other people. And eventually I just had to take a breath 
and say that you've got this, you have what it takes, now go get them. So as I conclude with this script and with the speed paint, I just want to say thank you to Luke and Kevin for all they do. To the characters they create, stories that they write and tell, and laughter that has helped not just me, but many, many others get through some dark times. I look forward to watching some more SMG4 this Saturday, and then again with my best friends at our lunch table at school. Uh, also, I plan on buying a Tari hoodie and a plushie of Theo and some of the merch. Once I have the money, I'm kind of broke right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and to all who watched this video, thanks for listening to me ramble, get a little emotional, and just for giving me a shot. It means a lot to me. God bless you guys. I hope you have a good night full of memes and Taco Bell. Peace out.